This year, on November 10th, the Marine Corps celebrates its 248th birthday. This is the Commandant's message. To this day, young men and women choose to raise their right hand and swear an oath to something greater than themselves. Combat is ugly. You see, I don't like this. Hey, you want to go to a flashlight? Oh, yeah. He's gone. How you know? He was laying. Because he was laying, laying right there. He's not there no more. He was laying up on I the shot him like five times when I came back. If you think combat is great, then you haven't been there. So we were taking fire all day long. Lieutenant Calvin bent over to grab his radio. A tracer round came through the left armhole of his flak jacket and out the right armhole and just barely pe penetrated the skin. Crazy thing is that when he was a young enlisted Marine, he got a tattoo on his back that said Marine and the tracer underlined the word Marine. That's the kind of story that people won't believe unless you show it to them. I've been shot a few times and blown up and stabbed. I owe my life to Navy corpsmen, those are unsung heroes. When you're in a battle and you're wounded, but you know you can still pull a trigger, the thing that keeps you going is the man to your left and the man to your right. Since its birth, the Marine Corps has sought to find those exceptional individuals who embody the qualities of toughness, grit, honor, courage, and commitment qualities required of a professional warfighting force that is not only capable, but willing to do the hard things on behalf of the nation. Victory in every climb and place does not happen by chance. From the unforgiving jungles of the South Pacific, to the snow-covered mountains of Korea, to the bloody streets of Wei and Fallujah, Marines have prevailed because they had moral courage, steel backbones, and a ruthless commitment to a tradition of excellence. And with preparation comes confidence. The more prepared you are, the more you rehearse, the more you, you drill, the more confident you get. And so we're ready to go. The Marine standard is the only standard, and discipline is the currency of our core. This is the bedrock of our ethos, and what makes us unique from any other fighting force in the world. Discipline and being lethal, I see it every single day from the fire team to the squad to the platoon level when the Marines are running up recon, running through the low trail, going to the dojo, making themselves more lethal and fit. And that directly correlates to when we go do, you know, ranges 400 or do a company cliff assault. And that's only going to continue to bleed on when they go overseas and take care of business. Today, we continue to prepare for the next fight. And while the faces, weapons, and formations are new, the fighting spirit of the individual Marine has never changed. When the nation calls and the orders given to send in the Marines, every friend and every foe understands that help or destruction is on the way. Right now we have more capabilities than uh, we ever had in the past, from weapon systems, platforms, and technology to able to be lighter and faster and more lethal. 
As Marines, we do not decide when the next fight will come, but we do decide who wins. The Marines who came before have paved the way. They prevailed against all odds in the face of unimaginable hardship, and yet they kept their humanity. They kept their honor clean. The character of war will change. The battlefield will evolve and the equipment will modernize. But the warrior ethos of our Corps stands firm. We do not simply say that we're first to fight. We work hard every day to prove it. To our adversaries, I would say, if you see that US Marines and you see that MARPAD, I would say you better stand by. Because if you don't think these Marines are working every single day to better their craft and skills, you got another thing coming. Because these Marines aren't going to stop until the mission is accomplished and you're destroyed. It's funny when you're a, a Lance Corporal and you got combat action, Navy Unit Commendation, Marine Corps Expedition Air Medal, and a sea service, and they look at you like, where have you been? Nowhere. I just went where the Marine Corps sent me. We are people who are dedicated to the service to others. If there's somebody that's in trouble, a Marine is not going to turn and walk away. They're going to do whatever's necessary. It, to the point of giving their life. Admiral Chester Nimitz said about Iwo Jima, uncommon valor was a common virtue. The stories I hear at reunions should be on Silver Star citations. The Marine Corps history is very important, and I'm glad that it's still being taught. I'm glad that my fellow Marines that didn't come back are being remembered, are being discussed in squad base till this day. Marines are tough. I think there's something about a young man or young woman who comes into the Marine Corps that they perhaps were born with and didn't even know it. You can do it. You can do it all. Um, you are capable more than you think, and there are so many people in the Marine Corps who want to enable that. You're now fighting for your brothers and sisters. What was common then, and from what I can tell what's common now, is uh, the camaraderie. Uh, you watch my back, I'll watch your back. Don't want to let people down on either side of you. There's no better thing than camaraderie and talking through it and sharing certain pieces with individuals because it creates a bond that is unbreakable. Everybody wants to be a champion. Everybody really wants to be part of the best. Marines, you are the strength of our core. And your actions determine the fate of millions of future warriors and their ability to stand on your shoulders. I know that you're ready. As we come together to celebrate our 248th birthday, I encourage every Marine to reflect on our history and think about the moment when you ask yourself, do I have what it takes? You are on the journey that few have dared to be. Take pride in what you represent. You are the pinnacle of professional warriors and the model for others to follow. Sergeant Major Ruiz and I are proud to stand among you and we'll be with you every step of the way. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Marines, and Semper Fidelis. We're Marines till we die. And we require a two week notice for that. <laughs>